Hello everybody, welcome to the Norwegian Breakaway Class Aft Facing Cabins. This particular one is 14276. And as you can see, as I open this door, the cabin itself is pretty average as far as cabins are concerned. There's nothing really extraordinary about it. It's a really nice cabin, it's got good room, it's nicely decorated, and I'll be going over some of the features and some of the quirks of this cabin that make it a little bit different than others. So sit back and enjoy. All balconies and above have this little sofa area which can seat about three people and it also pulls out to make a bed for a third person or a full pull out for up to two more people. This is the bedroom area and I'll be getting into a lot more detail about it later on. But the reason you usually get this cabin is for this, the aft facing balcony. Not only is it larger, but it's probably one of the best views on the ship. I'm gonna go in complete detail about this balcony towards the end of the video. And here's an overview of the balcony cabin, just looking from about the balcony doors over to the entrance of the room. The television can really only be watched from the right side of the bed. It doesn't tilt much. There's a lot of storage space in this cabin. As you could see with this open cabinets, you can use them kind of like drawers because there are no drawers in this cabin, which makes it a little interesting. There's a lot of closet space, as you could see. And one thing that NCL does is they give you a lot of hangers usually. So as you could see, I brought a good week's worth of clothing. The other half of the closet has a couple of shelves, which I used to store my shoes. And it's got a small safe, which is digital to put in some small belongings. Things like a big iPad won't fit in it though. And on either side of the bed are these tiny nightstands, which you can use to store little items in. One of the nice features that NCL does is they refresh your ice bucket so that it's fresh basically every day. In order for climate and electricity to work, you have to insert your key card in that slot. This little piece of furniture is pretty versatile and can be used for many different things. You can use it as a coffee table or you could use it as a bench to sit down on when you are doing your hair or whatever it is that you like to do in front of the mirror. It also has a storage area, so if you lift up the lid or the cushion, you can put things like bottles of water or whatever you'd like to store in there. Another little storage area is underneath the sofa. Here you see extra linens that my room steward keeps, but you can ask them to remove it and store other things. So no more paper, do not disturb signs and having to open the door. With the click of a button, you can indicate to your room steward, do not disturb. The light will turn red outside of your stateroom. And of course it'll turn green if you want them to come in and freshen things up. There are two US standard outlets and two European outlets in this cabin. I do like to bring extra European adapters to charge stuff. And each cabin has a little coffee maker for one cup, which is ideal if you like coffee or tea. There are no plugs or USB ports near the bed, unfortunately. So what I do is I bring a very long extended lightning cord so I can charge my phone and peruse stuff while I'm in bed. If you're like me and you like it really chilly when you sleep, this climate control is fabulous. It was really chilly, so you can adjust the climate control to your liking and it actually blows cold. And it's strong, which I really like. I really like the bathroom in this cabin. It's pretty wide, it's got a lot of space to store things, it's got a wide sink. And best of all, the shower has not only a door, but plenty of space inside. So if you don't like showering in a small shower, then you'll like the shower in this cabin. And I'm not really crazy about the shower handle. 
to open the water up, you got to twist the left side on this handle. And then to adjust the temperature, you twist the right side to whatever temperature you want. And it's in Celsius. So it can be a little tricky. The garbage in the bathroom is found by opening up the cubby hole here under the sink. There's also a plug in the bathroom, but it's kind of hard to find because it's in the ceiling, but you can use it to plug in your shaver and whatnot. Right above the bed, there's this little storage area, which is pretty thin. So you could put something like a remote control maybe, or a book. And then each of the sides of the bed has a lamp that you could control. As you could see, the TV doesn't swivel very much. Okay, so I just walked in. It's a little after 11 p.m. You hear that noise? That is from Spice H2O. So you're going to get that in this aft section of the breakaway class all the way until about 12, 1230 at night. So if you have an aft facing cabin or penthouse, which is right next to me, you may want to reconsider if you're a very light sleeper because you will be hearing boom, boom, boom until that time. So for me, it's worth it because I love the aft facing here. So it's not terrible. They did offer to change rooms and I declined because I love having the aft facing um, view. So if you're in this and you're sensitive to noise, it may not be for you here. Okay, now the reason that you probably are watching this is for the balcony, and I'm gonna give you a pretty detailed description of this balcony. Let's have a look. Pretty much all of the aft facing balconies on the Norwegian breakaway are really in good positions. So let's look at it in more detail. This is one of the most private balconies facing the aft I've had on any cruise ship. And I'll show you why in just a second, but let's look at it and enjoy for a moment before I get into the description. As you walk out, you have a full railing and it's glass, so it's clear and you could see it from the cabin. It's unobstructed and of course you've got a clear view of the wake. The partitions are really good. They're steel and they stick out past your viewpoint from your neighbor and they're not slanted. If you're wondering if the people from the garden cafe can look down, wonder again because look, it goes past the balcony. So not only does that shelter you from exposure of rain or bad weather, but the people on top can't look down. So again, it's very private. The balcony is pretty deep, so it's got a couple of chaise lounges where you could lay down and just watch the sunset or take a nap and listen to the sounds of the ocean if that's your thing. It's got also a couple of chairs that you could sit in on the other side. So you could literally order your room service and have a nice meal here if you want. So it's pretty private. The only people that can even see you would be someone that's in a balcony under you and they'd have to look up and turn around to see you. So privacy is key here. Being one of Norwegian Cruise Line's top accounts means that I get to pass that value along to my clients. So if you don't already have a good travel agent, definitely contact me. 
I can get you a much better deal than booking through Norwegian Direct. And of course, I'm pretty full of knowledge. So I'd love to hear from you and you have my email at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. For the best value on vacations like this, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. And don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe.